Hello, incredible one. Darnell Jervy here. Can you believe it's the first Walk It Out Wednesday in the fourth quarter of 2009? You've heard a lot of people talking about your fourth quarter comeback or your strategy to end your year with incredible success. But I want you to first and foremost, I want you to pat yourself on the back. And I want you to do as my favorite book says, to not grow weary in well-doing. For you will reap a harvest if you faint not. And although you may not have accomplished all of the goals that you set for yourself this year, Year, you've done some things you've made some great strides towards the progress that you want to see in your life and I want to congratulate you you know it also takes a very strong person to recognize that they've not achieved all of their goals and to set a new strategy to do as Willie Jolly said to realize that a setback is just a set up for a comeback and I want you to get excited because what is to come is better than what's been as always, I have a few quick tips for you as we celebrate you on this walk, first Walk It Out Wednesday in the fourth quarter of 09. And I want you to remember that it is not over yet. The year is not over. Many things can be done in the next 80 or so days that we have in this year. There have been people who will go on to win significant, significant feats in their lives simply because they did not grow weary. They did not give up. And they did what number one is. They remained focused on their mission, their mandate, and their mantle to accomplish the goals that they've set for themselves. Again, you've got plenty of time to achieve one of your significant goals this year. So I invite you to put on a pair of blinders. Don't focus on to the left or the right, but focus straight ahead of you and allow yourself to really hone in on what it's going to take over the next few months to accomplish that one goal. And then I want you to begin doing something every single day that will get you closer to the completion of that goal. Maybe it's getting a new client. Maybe it's finally getting your business plan done. Do something every single day that will help you to accomplish your goal. Number two, which goes right in line with putting on blinders, is I really want you to be authentic. You have an authentic voice. You were created as the only one of you for a reason. Even if you have a twin or another multiple birth sibling, you are the only you for a reason. We need to stop trying to be like everyone else and find our own authentic voice and allow the tools that have been given in us to lead us to the places we, where we are to go. I want you to trust your talent. I want you to focus on the fact that you have been birthed with everything that you need to be the incredible you that you were created to be. It is time to begin to unleash it. And it's the perfect time because there's just a few months left in this year and there's just enough time for you to get it done and to do it right. And lastly, I want you to remember your dream. I want you to remember your vision. I want you to go back for just a second. I know it feels like it happened yesterday, but I want you to go back to December 31st of 2008 as you were approaching this new year. And someone said to you, 2009 is the year of manifestation. And I want you to fix your eyes on the picture that is in your mind. I want you to go back to that vision. I want you to close your eyes for just a second. And I want you to take a mental picture of what what it is that you want to achieve in your life. Sometimes we lose focus. Sometimes we take our eyes off the prize. But I want you for just a second to close your mind and fully picture the vision that you put before you as you begin 2009. And I want you to remember that no matter what has happened, it is the past. As I've said before, we need to stop giving our past permission to speak. The first three quarters of this year, they are over. We have to let them go. But what we do right now, starting today, starting this Walk It Out Wednesday, is what is going to help us to walk into our destiny. So with that picture in your mind, become strategic. Start to operate on purpose. Get your focus together, put your blinders on, and be authentic. And run the most amazing race ever for the remainder of the year. I know that you can do it. I believe in you. I believe in the power and your ability to make incredible things happen in your life. And it starts today with the recognition that maybe I'm not where I want to be, but I'm not as far away as I thought. If I would just focus and I would do something every single day that would help me to achieve my goal by the end of the year, when it comes time to start 2010, I'll be even more excited. My vision will be that much larger because I will be focusing on setting new goals. I'm excited for you. The year's not over yet. As they've said and we've heard a many a time, it's not over until the proverbial fat lady sings. Well, I want you to get excited because there's still well over 80 days left in this year. 
And in 80 days, tremendous things have been done. So I don't want you to lose heart. I don't want you to lose focus. Instead, I want you to recommit yourself by making a non-negotiable decision that today is the day that I will re Zoom my goal, and I will make it happen by just taking one small step every single day towards the completion of that goal. I will be authentic, I will focus, and I will be on fire for that which I've been created to do because I recognize that the incredible is on the inside of me, and it is time to unleash it. As always, I want you to remember that Walk It Out Wednesday is my day to bring you a little bit of motivation to help you to get to that next level, to empower you and to transform your mind into believing that anything is possible if you are willing to do the work. So over this fourth quarter, I want you to remind yourself of the work that it will take and recommit to make it happen. And I can't wait to see you at the finish line as we start 2010 and you're excited because you can say, I'm incredible because I achieved that goal when no one else thought that I would. It's been my pleasure to bring this to you. I can't wait for you to join us on the radio show tonight. We've got Ed Houston, the author of Single and Living Free. He's my special guest tonight, and it is going to be absolutely incredible, as you know it always is. So again, this is Darnielle A. Jervie saying, be better, be stronger, and more than anything, be incredible. Take care.